Hey, what's up, it's Rich, and uh, welcome back to another video. In this short tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to enable uh, FSR on Linux in pretty much any game, uh, whether that's on Steam or whether that's on Linux. Obviously, there are prerequisites, and I'm not going to go over those in this video because uh, it, would, it would make it too long. But basically, assuming you have a compatible version of uh, Proton, or Wine, or you know whatever it is you're, you're using to, um, to to play these games through on Linux, then enabling FSR in either Steam or Lutris is really, really straightforward. So here in Steam, I'm going to jump into the Steam library, and I'm going to open up The Witcher. And you, so you want to right click on the game and go to Properties, open up the Properties, and then you get this this window here. Now, uh, you're probably familiar with this launch options box on the general tab. Um, it's where you obviously can add commands to do various things in uh, in games. But this here is the uh, this is the key command here. You want to put Y all capitals wine underscore full screen underscore fs one fsr sorry equals one and then obviously your uh, your command uh, percent command because percent on the end. Uh, ignore the mango hood that's completely separate but uh, obviously you you may have other um commands in here as well but this is the uh, this is the important bit here to enable fsr um and obviously you need to make sure you're using a compatible version of of proton generally i'll run most of my games with uh, with proton ge i'm sure a lot of other people do and the most recent versions are perfectly fine to use uh, with this it seems so now that's that's all you have to do in Steam. You just uh, you just go and play, you know, hit play and load the game up. So now we're going to switch over to Lutris and take a look at things over there. So we're over now in Lutris. Uh, slightly different process, obviously, but very very easy as well. Uh, and again, you will obviously need to make sure you're using compatible uh, versions of Wine and such to um, to to make this work. So I'll show you how to do this. Uh, so I'm just going to use Disco Elysium as an example here. So I'm just going to right click and we are going to configure. And then on this tab here, the runner options, we have here, obviously this is where you will select your different uh, different runners. So again, here if I'm using, uh, I generally use the Lucius GEs, uh, sorry, the, the Wine GEs. Um, but all we need to do to enable FSR is to toggle this to on uh, and if we hover over it it tells us exactly what we need uh, minimum to be able to run this so you've got to be running uh, the Lutris Wine F Shack 613 or above um, in order to get FSR to to work by default it's disabled so you can either do this you know so you can do this on a on a per game basis here just under the runner options tab uh, and then uh, that's all you have to do in there. Whether you're in Steam or in uh, Lutris, Wine, whatever, the the general idea of FSR is the same. Load up your game at a lower resolution, and it will upscale it to uh, it will upscale it intelligently. So the end result should be you get a game that looks as good with better frame rate. So for example, if you're playing at 1080p, set to 1020p, FSR then should upscale it, and you shouldn't be able to tell the difference. Uh, I generally can't, but I have seen really good results. Um, I've been using it in Control, for example, on Steam, and uh, I can see anything between sort of 20 to 30 frames per second extra using FSR, depending on you know wh whereabouts in the game I am. So it's a it's a fantastic technology. Definitely give it a whirl, and uh, hopefully this is going to be really useful when the Steam Deck comes out some point in 2022 maybe if we can get our hands on them but uh but yeah it's 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 really exciting and obviously it doesn't matter whether you're using amd or nvidia hardware you can give it a whirl on both so that's all there is to it see you in the next one